everyone. Uh, today we're going to be showing you the new Petite with IR capability. Uh, so I'm going to show you the product on our webpage first. You're going to go to RF modulator, so on box one, scroll down. We put it here, third product in. So it's the HDMI RF Petite IR. So it's almost similar, borderline identical to the Petite we already have. Uh, this one also has the IR capability, which I'll go over briefly. So as you can see, uh, we just got it in a new box, very sleek, very stylish. The LEDs are quite bright, uh, easy to use. This one, as opposed to the Petite, has a LCD display and all the D-pad buttons. So you can actually really easily set this up just from the uh, front interface here. Uh, you don't need to use an RJ45 port or plug it into a computer. Uh, these are all the things that come with it. Again, a few extra accessories here um, because it does have the IR um, and it does have this little box that you got to stick near the TV uh, if your modulator is down in the basement or if you're in an RV or camper or something like that and it's hidden away. Uh, it's a nice little gadget to have uh, if you need the IR. Not everyone's going to need it. We thought that would be a cool little extra additional function. Um, you know, it comes with an easy to use power supply. Uh, and the new power supply that we actually added to this new box actually has a screw in. Uh, so on top of this jacket here, you actually have like a little metal screw in. We got to update that picture for you. Uh, otherwise it comes in this neat little box, um, and everything. And again, it's very similar to the old model. Um, the, the, not the old model, but, uh, the existing petite, you have your HDMI input, you have a loop out, and then you have RF in, uh, RF out. Um, and you also have an additional RF out in case you want to use the IR. So you don't have to use it. Again, we priced it. I think it's the exact same price as the Petite. You don't have to use the IR. Some people, if they just want to use a D-pad because it's easier, uh, this might be a better bet. Uh, some description. Again, it's fairly similar, almost the same. Comes with all the formats uh, for global use. And again, it comes with Quam Annex A and B. So you can immediately use it in uh, Europe as well as America, North America, uh, ATSC, DVB-T, and ISDBT. So again, it's it's easy to use. This is the old box. We originally made it um, in with the uh, wall mount or desk mount um, sides here. Uh, the new one does not have that. But if you look in the accessory box, it does have these actual uh, little brackets. So you can kind of bolt it down somewhere if you like. Um, and again, the interface here, this is all the same. Uh, and again, you have the little power on button for your nine volt. If you are going to be using, uh, the IR. Okay. So I'm going to show you the NMS briefly. So you go here, log in to the unit. Um, I did change the IP address briefly, uh, just so I can log in. And here you see the status page, very easy to read, J83B, it's on channel two right now. And I have it connected to a Blu-ray player, so it's 1080i60. Uh, you can go to encode. Again, you can change your bit rate all the way up to 25 megabits if you like. Latency, 500, 800, 1000 milliseconds. Uh, audio formats, AC3, MPEG-1, AAC. Uh, you have your IDs here. You can make a program name. We'll just put NFL in this one. <clears throat> Again, video resolution pops up down here. Go to modulate. Again, all the standards are built in. There's our European QAM. Everything's set up here. So this is actually where you're going to change your channel um, depending on the frequency that you want it on. Okay, you have your attenuator built in here, set to zero, all the way up to 30, set to 256. Uh, and down here, your major and minor, this is actually pretty much as VCT. Okay, it doesn't say here, but this is pretty much VCT. So right now it's set up for frequency 57, which is channel two. But if I wanted to put it on channel 25, dot one, that's it, hit apply. And now if you go to your TV and Tune or re, you probably have to rescan unless you have a newer Samsung. 
But once you do a scan, uh, immediately this will be on channel 25 already. Okay. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up use. That's that's it. That's the whole that's the whole unit. And again, I change the IP address on the front of the unit using the D-pad because it comes programmed out of the box with dot zero. Uh, my computer I use here at the office is on dot um, one subnet. So again, you got to make sure your your gateway and your subnet uh, and your IP address are all matching uh, so your computer can see the actual unit password, firmware, factory reset, and you can save your loadout. So in case you have a power outage or something like that, um, you know, you're going to, you're going to want to save that. So if you have a power outage and it goes off, it'll immediately come right back on. That's it. That's, uh, that's a new petite with IR and, uh, we'll probably have some more videos coming out about this product in just a little bit. All right. Thanks guys.